welcome back to the channel so today as you can see I've got the guitar back and this is a 2015 Mexican Strat that was in Arctic white with a white pick guard and uh, you can see um, it's the original pick guard uh, the pickups are different this is a DiMarzio area 58 in the neck and the middle's an area 58, and the bridge is a Pro 54. I have a treble bleed on the volume, and the two tones still work the same way. The neck is a Warmoth Wenge neck with an ebony fingerboard. So, as you can see, I've had the logo put on. The logo is actually not a water slide but that is acrylic paint and so what i had done was i worked with the design to get the one that i want with this um, woman that does laser cutting into wood here and so then we finally uh, came to how it should be she laser cut it we filled it uh when i say we then i brought it to this guy jim casey in stoughton jim filled it with acrylic paint topped it off with a sealer and that's what we're looking at here. It's the 70s Dan Smith logo that I love. The neck is Wenge with a ton of grain. Now let me see if I can get the camera in so you can see. But the neck has a ton of grain on it. Yeah, you can see that. There's a ton of grain on that. And... Um, Like I said, the fingerboard is ebony. Um, it plays fantastic. It's great. When I got it back, I thought the action was just a hair too low for the way I like it. I brought it up, and it's ripping. And that, um, after everything, this has also, let me just say, it has a big, beefy, chunky neck. And, um, you know, after everything, this... It ends up costing somewhere. I think I've priced it under nine hundred for everything, and um, so for under nine hundred bucks, I have a guitar that I'll put this up against any custom shop. You'd have to play it to see what I mean. It's it's smoking, it's great, but I would put this up against any custom shop, and um, this is the first of three that I have unfinished that I'm trying to finish up. One, I'm just waiting on the, another neck from Warmoth. But I'll be playing this. I'll take this out on Friday night with my band to see how it goes. Um, but for the most part, it's the pickups that I have in, in my three other main strats that I take out. Three or two? Well, well that I take out two. One I use as a... As a um, I have a, a Gary Kramer... Um, prototype made in Korea that I've put these pickups in that I use like for rehearsals and whatnot but for when I gig I use um, my yellow guitar which is a area 58 58 and a 54 my um, black one that looks like the Gilmore Strat that's also has a 58 58 and a 54 and and now this one and they'll be the only three that have this um, and those three are all v-necks this one being my favorite of them um it's the clapton shape and it's funny because um when i got the last boat neck i had wolf in boston shave it down to a sharper v and um this is what i was going for it's a little beefier than this but it's funny because when i called warmoth they were like yeah the clapton's a really thin v and i'm like this is not thin this is real beefy so um it's great it, it feels it's it's like my favorite feeling neck and um you know this is why i say you know why fender's hurting and you know they come out with a different color and it's like who cares you know what i mean it's still the same c neck the same feel this also what i love about this is you know the neck is wenge which doesn't need to be having any doesn't need anything on it the ebony fingerboard doesn't need anything on it, so it just feels like organic. It feels great. Is it going to change the sound because it has no paint? No. No. It's that silliness. But it is just, a, it's great. It's just a great feeling guitar. I'm so glad that I did this and found this guitar on Craigslist. 
again let me just show you one more time and again I had the Dan Smith logo put on lasered on and on the next one I'm gonna have a Dan that's a maple neck and I'm gonna have a Dan Smith logo put on but it's gonna be uh, an altered version because that's an upside down I'm using a reverse headstock on the next one and so it's gonna be straightened out and in a straight line with the strings and um, and I'm not gonna fill it I'm just gonna have the lasers gonna burn the maple so then I'll have it uh, I'll have a, a rub on poly put on it so but that's it that's um that's what I wanted to show you today um other things going on I hit a thousand subscribers which is great Move on. Nothing to see here. Please Nothing to see here. Please. but this is the strap that I've been talking about you can go back to my old video where I play it and uh, I've actually been really enjoying playing it but again, under 900 bucks. Um, the next one I'm doing is also a Strat, and then the one after that is going to be like a baritone, um, kind of like a uh, like a bass six shape. What's that? Like a jazz master, but it's going to be a un little unique to it uh, with the pickups and everything else. So it'll be cool. Uh, other than that, really not much else to talk about. Um, it's just been crazy, but. Um, we can go into discussing more about um, doing your own builds. You know, it's funny because you got guys like um, Nash and all these other guys making strats. And it's like, really? Go buy a Mexican strat online. Buy it off, buy it used off a guy. Get the right neck shape that you want to feel. The stainless steel frets. And um, Put the pickups you want in it, and for under a grand, you're into something that's really special. I'm thinking about getting the Graftech tuners here because I always hate the vintage Fender ones because they, they just get into your hand a little bit when you go like that. Like if you're playing, it gets into your hand. So I don't really care for that. And um, but you know whatever. Anyways, I hope everyone has a great one, and I will see you very soon. Very good. <laughs> How's that for a topper? <laughs> You're right on target. Right on the money. Everything you said. You hit the nail right on the head with your comments, what you're saying today. You're 150% correct.